Welcome back to CJ Explores. In this video, we are going to show you some of the beaches that may not be on your Phuket hit list, new sunset locations for 2024, and the grand opening of the Phuket Sunday Walking Street. We finally get the opportunity to do some snorkeling again in the beautiful turquoise water, and also find some great lookout spots where we meet a gang of monkeys. If you are planning a trip to Phuket, then make sure you stay till the end so you don't miss a trick. We've made it to the beautiful beach here on the western side of Phuket Island. As you can see, gold sand beaches, it stretches all the way up here. And uh, yeah, it is lovely, it is hot. I think it's about 34 degrees, so we are gonna go and jump in that water. Got a snorkel mask, beautiful undermanned sea. Let's go. Well, it's our first time at the beach in Thailand and it did not disappoint. It is a really nice beach. Nice soft golden sand. The ocean is lovely. Um, Corey says it's not cold enough for him. He wants it to be cooler to cool him down. I think it's a lovely temperature, especially if you want to go snorkeling or do some water activities. You're not going to get cold, um, but it is definitely nice temperature. It'll cool you down a tiny bit. Like it is nice to go in there. But this is a really lovely beach here in Phuket. There's lots of cafes and hotels nearby, so it seems like it's a good spot to stay as well. We're going to relax here a little bit more and then we're going to head up the coast to a really cool drink spot. Well, we maybe jammed routes so we went and got changed and we've driven up the hill to come to some of these nice cliffside little eateries or drink bars. We're going to go and hopefully find a drink with a view. Cheers. We found this place called Pillow and a Blanket, a Blanket and a Pillow, a Blanket and a Pillow. And this seems like it's a few of them actually along the coast side, but it's amazing, like chill out bar overlooking the ocean. It looks absolutely delightful down there. Quite a few floors going down to the bottom and swings everywhere, these bamboo huts. It's like Bali, but I won't get food fortunately. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna go check out downstairs. There's so many cool little spots to hang out here. And right at the bottom, you get down to the granite boulders where I think you can swing in a tree. That looks very cool. Let's go check it out. Pretty cool spot down here. And if you've got some swimmers with you, definitely bring them to the bottom because you can access the ocean and go for a little dip halfway through your cafe stop and then dry off up here and watch the sunset. What an amazing spot. Ending our first day at Phuket at this viewpoint called Karong Viewpoint overlooking the island is absolutely beautiful. It's a bit overgrown so you can't really see the sunset but maybe that's just the time of the year too where the sun is setting. But we can see the bays where we were swimming in earlier and it looks beautiful. Well it is a very very nice viewpoint here but it is slightly overgrown so we can't see where the sun is going to set into the ocean. We might go for a little cruise down to find a bar because on the way up here we did see some bars with amazing views. We were driving back from the viewpoint and there was these bars by the side of the road and Corey went <coughs> and parked and ran here so we could see the sunset and we just watched the final couple of minutes of the sunset. I think it's really beautiful. Um, it's probably better to come to these bars than the viewpoint. The viewpoint is obstructed for the actual sunset. Um, but here you have a very clear view. It's very beautiful. So we're going to stay here, have a couple of drinks and then yeah, it's going to wrap up our first night in Phuket. We decided to stay here for some dinner, so we ordered a few dishes and we are just taking in a beautiful view. The sun has set, but the skies all turned orange and golden. And we're just watching it while we eat. It's a lovely way to end our day. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. We are starting out day number two here in Phuket with one of the many beautiful cafes. We have come to the south of the island. We're at a place called Pure Vegan Heaven, which is obviously all vegan food. We're sitting in this very nice uh, bamboo hut. We are chilling here. It is very lovely. We're waiting for some beautiful food, which we know they have because we have been to the uh, partner restaurant up in Chiang Mai. I have a few of these around Thailand. But today we are going to visit one of the most popular beaches in Phuket. So let's get to it. 
Well, we left our breakfast spot and we are on our way to find a nice beach and we may have found it. As we were exploring, we found this viewpoint and the view is stunning. There's an island out there, people kayaking to it. And we think there's a little beach down here. So I think that's gonna be where we're gonna go for a snorkel today. Well, initially we did plan to go to Freedom Beach, but we have just pulled up to this beach. It is called Yanui Beach. And this lovely gentleman has just helped us find a park. We are parked right on the beach front. There's some cafes around. It looks like you can hire some stand-up pedal boards, kayaks and things. There's an island over there, so we are very excited to go and explore this place. Anyway, we have our snorkels, we have our flippers. We are gonna go and explore the beach. Let's go. So I've just flown the drone up. The view looked absolutely incredible out there. There's a lot of people just kayaking, paddle boarding, and snorkeling. Now we have come prepared. I've got some snorkels and we have got some baby shampoo. That is the trick that I always recommend. It doesn't go in the water. You use it on the inside of the lens and it stops it from fogging up, which is a little trick that I learned in Koh Tao last time we were here in Thailand. But we are gonna go and head out for a swim in this beautiful water. It looks incredible so clear and apparently there's a lot of fish out there so let's go and check it out it was such a beautiful experience to be able to swim with schools of fish right off the beach we played around the rocks mainly and didn't venture over to the island but it does look like the further we got from the beach the clearer the water became you can hire everything you need to get there from the beachfront including snorkels kayaks stand-up paddle boards and even beach umbrellas Wow, that was so good in there. There's so many fish. We even got to see some sea stars. Good snorkeling. A sea star. Yeah, amazing, so many rainbow fish. Yeah. All of the colors, a lot, beautiful. A lot of fish out there. So as you can see, this is a very, very stunning beach and it is a lot quieter than what we've heard about Freedom Beach. Freedom Beach, you have to go through a bit of a jungle trek. I think it's 15 minutes down a steep hill to get down there. And if you get there and it's packed, then it's really a big investment to go back up the hill and try and find another beach. So we recommend this one, Yanui Beach. It has been wonderful. It is a bit wild here. The monkeys are climbing on our car and they're very, very um, keen on these, these bits of fruit and nuts. But they're so adorable. You can get so close to the monkeys when you're in a car because look, you can see his breath on the window. We are staying in Phuket Old Town and on Sundays they have a market. Today is a grand opening because I believe this is the first time they're going to have two streets completely closed off. So we have a red tape down here. The market's going to run down this street and then the next street and uh, it's a big deal. So let's go and check it out. We've just had some rain but hopefully that holds off for the next wee while and we can experience the Phuket Sunday Market. Walking Street, the grand opening. Well, this is a wonderful day. The grand opening ceremony is kicking off. We have Chinese musicians playing this beautiful instrument. It sounds incredible and the vibe is high. going on down here and I've only gone around one street um, at the far end is where they were doing their grand opening ceremony and then all down the street is like food craftspeople artisans and lined by these like historic buildings which are really really cool yeah there's some really really cool places like they look like they've just been there for decades so yeah a great great thing to do is take a little wander down the walking street Well, 
This street is much busier. This is the street with all the old buildings that look like, kind of like all pastel colors. Really cute, nice architecture. Um, it looks quite historic here as well. So this street is much busier than the other street. I think it's a bit narrower. Um, heaps more food, a lot of meat. You're gonna struggle if you're vegetarian here for sure. But a festive spirit and a lot of shops on the sides as well. So you can go into a cafe or a restaurant or do some shopping. Go and make the most of it, enjoy. Well, I've completed the big loop and that was a fantastic walking street, a great market. A lot going on. Um, there was a few repetitive stores, but a lot of creative stuff as well. So if you're looking for a unique gift, something to take home with you, a little piece of Phuket, then definitely check out this walking street market. It's on every Sunday from 4 till 10 p.m. So definitely come and check it out. We have come to the Big Buddha now in Phuket. I say we. Charlotte is actually in the car because she found this to be a little bit too touristy and she is in her bikini ready for the beach so she is not allowed to come in without dressing appropriately. There are places by the gate where you can go and get some like shawls or skirts to sort of wrap over if you don't have the appropriate clothing. But let's go up to the top and have a look because this place here you can see from pretty much everywhere in Phuket. Well, as you can see, the view up here is pretty incredible. You can see the islands around Phuket Island. Um, you can see the boat harbor where, where you can take tours to some of the islands. And that's one thing that we probably didn't have time for when we were here in Phuket. We really wanted to get out to see some islands, but we are coming back here to depart to Koh Lanta in about a month after Charlotte's yoga course. So if you are interested in that, then definitely hit the subscribe button and we will show you a bit around the islands of Phuket as well. It is a beautiful structure up here, but it seems like it is not actually finished completion. There's like a lot of building material around um, the inside underneath the Big Buddha. You can go, well, you can't go in, it's kind of like cordoned off, but you can see that there's like some construction going on in there. So maybe it's undergoing renovations. Maybe it is just not finished. I guess those donations that you make when you enter temples like this, contribute towards paying the builders to finish it off. So if you can spare some, some change, a few Thai baht, then uh, yeah, definitely bring some up. There are some adorable little monkeys up here as well, but the number one rule for monkeys is if you have food, avoid them. Um, keep your bags zipped up tightly and yeah, try not to have anything on display that is shiny, because if you've got food, they are gonna take it and they are gonna bribe you for the food. So. Just a little uh, word of wisdom there from someone who loves monkeys. And finally, we are back at the beach. This is one we saw yesterday. It's called Naihan Beach. And look at that water. It looks so flat, so beautiful. And I think there's gonna be some good snorkeling. So, got the flippers. And me and Shazzy are looking for a spot where we can get an umbrella. We're gonna go in the water. Let's go. Another wonderful spot to don your snorkel mask and go for an adventure. We didn't see anywhere nearby that was renting them, but if it's something you're really into and you're gonna be in Thailand for a while, then maybe you could pick up a really high quality mask from a dive shop to keep as a souvenir. We're having a wonderful day at the beach, but we have just ordered some food from Grab, a place called Vegan Junk Food, and we have a pizza, cauliflower wings with buffalo, and I've got a crispy chicken wrap. With this view, can't get better than this. Yummy!